No, some things never change. It looks pretty good. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we got the brand new Hammer 3D Offset Attack. So joining us today all the way from Winnipeg, Manitoba, we have Mitch Hoopé back on the channel. He's going to review this against a ball he really likes on more burnt up conditions, the One Remix from Ebonite. If you haven't seen that video, take a look right up here. So let's talk a little bit about this new 3D Offset Attack. Now it features the same 3D Offset core that we saw in the previous version of this. It also features a new cover stock, it's a Neo Flip 25. Remember back to our Defender Hybrid video, we talked about the new technology that Brunswick's introducing with the Hyperkinetic 22 cover stock. This has that same cover stock base with slightly different additives. So you'll see a little bit more response to friction, a little bit more change of direction in these types of cover stocks. So as you may or may not know, Mitch is on his way to Australia representing Canada at the World Cup. Now they have announced a 46 foot oil pattern at that event. Uh, we've put a custom 46 foot pattern out for Mitch today. Now Mitch wants to compare this 3D offset attack versus his one remix. He's looking for a ball that can get through the front part of the lane a little bit easier in transition and retain some energy for the back end. Right now the one remix is that ball, but he wants to see how this new 3D offset attack will do in comparison. So my expectations today, we do have a really strong core and cover combination in 3D offset attack. Uh, really strong core in the one remix, but the cover stock, that GB14.4 solid with a little bit of shine on top, isn't quite as strong. So I think we'll see a little smoother shape actually out of this 3D offset attack and a little bit more defined change of direction with the One Remix. A big shout out to our members who have joined so far. If you want exclusive perks like early access to video, merch, coaching, and so much more, hit that join button below. That's enough for me in here. Let's send it out to Micho on the lanes. What's up guys, Micho's back once again, and today we got the brand new Hammer 3D Offset Attack. Um, following its pretty successful 3D offset. This is uh, just a cleaner cover, pearl cover, on that, that same 3D offset core, so I'm pretty excited for it. And today we're actually bowling on 46 feet, which uh, is pretty useful for me because I'm actually going to Australia in a few weeks and we'll be bowling on 46 feet. I'm trying to fill a couple gaps in my bag. I'm looking for like a pinup ASIM ball that uh, I can kind of go to like a game two transition kind of game where I get some length but some controllability down lane. So I've kind of narrowed it down to, well, this one if it impresses me, or the one remix that I threw actually a few weeks ago on the channel. Um, I know this one's a solid and that's a pearl, but just in terms of my eyes and what I see out of the two, they're kind of in that same slot. So even though they're two different covers, I think they're kind of fighting for the same spot in my bag. So we'll see how they roll on this pattern. I mean, the pattern is pretty fresh. You can see it uh, might be a little too weak for right now, but um, I mean, just off the one shot, I kind of like how it stayed online. Let's go right into the one same spot. Kind of expect this ball to hook a little bit earlier, probably go a little bit flusher just because of the stronger cover. You can see the one is just, I mean, it's just more ball, which is fine, but I don't know if that's really what I'm looking for in this, this spot that I'm trying to fill. Cause I don't really want to replace like the strongest ball in my bag. Again, I kind of want that transition ball and that, the one's got a little bit of polish on it to try and get a little closer, but uh, I'm not sure if it'll do, do it justice. I'm just slow down with this attack. Yeah, once I slow it down, it's a lot more comparable. I do really like how on the line that ball is staying, which in transition, that's kind of what you're looking for. You're not looking for some wonky, uh, wonky shapes. Let me move a little bit further left. And uh, yeah, I got to keep my speed a little slower, just because it's a slightly weaker cover. Yeah, I really like how controllable that is through the front. And it's not making a very quick down lane motion, which is, uh, yeah, it's kind of perfect. Let's see what the one does from that same spot, just like three left. Hmm. 
Yeah, that one's slightly quicker off the spot. It's kind of surprising. It looks pretty good. All right, question time, and I just, I gotta know, which one of the JR Pro Shop members is your favorite to watch? It might be me, but I'm not really an official JR Pro Shop member, so let us know in the comments. Yeah, it's not really like shaping, which is why I'm kind of like wish-washy, half-tenning. I'm all just kind of staying online and skin to the oil for most, most of the uh, shot. Okay, so let's move another zone left with this, because this is most likely where I'll be when I kind of get to this ball. And See, yeah, that's kind of the line that I'm looking for with that. I'm not trying to give it away. I just want it to kind of lay down. I feel like with the one, I have to throw it a little further right. Let's see, this is from the same spot. Yeah. Yeah, ball's pretty good, I think, if I need to get in the oil and just kind of play the back up a little bit. If there's not a lot of friction to the right, I think that would be a good ball to go to. See, and that just kind of got a little bit lazier just because it's hooking just slightly earlier. All right, now again, the real test is, will it strike if I take my thumb out of it? No, some things never change. <laughs> Back to the shop. Mitch back here, and I just got done throwing the new 3D offset attack from Hammer. Compared it up against the One Remix, one of the balls that I've been throwing a lot recently. Uh, again, I'm trying to fill in a spot in my bag for uh, the tournament I'm going to, which is on, again, 46 feet. Um, I think I need a ball for that transition phase where I just need to keep it kind of online and uh, make it through like that kind of wishy-washy period before they start to potentially open up. I felt like overall the 3D uh, offset attack did give me what I was looking for. I know in the video, it, it may seem that when I was bowling on uh, what was out there in this house on this day, maybe the one remix did look a little bit better, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's what I was looking for. So even though the 3D offset maybe didn't look as great today on what we were bowling on, it still kind of gave me the look that I was looking for, which is able to keep it online longer and I can kind of just manipulate my speed and not have to worry about getting into the friction. I can just kind of play it in the tube, which again, that's what I was looking for in, in this ball. For being an ASIM Pearl, this ball is pretty controllable. It's not that sharp reaction that you typically would see out of an ASIM Pearl, which again, is something that I was looking for, something that I like. I could see it being more so of a specialty ball, so maybe not like your strongest ball in the bag, your weakest ball in the bag. It's the ball you go to when maybe they get a little bit tricky and you gotta play a little bit safer. Probably on a house that hooks a little bit more, or again, on like a longer pattern on a house that hooks a little bit more. I think this ball is gonna keep you in the pocket and, and give you potentially a, a good look. I personally think it leans towards a higher speed, higher rev player just because of the controllability. I think that's where it's gonna shine. And again, I just think it's a really controllable piece that uh, is, again, what I was looking for. So I had one of the uh, the most recent 3D offsets, the purple one, and out of box, I was a big fan. It was so much ball, um, but I, it ended up being, I think, a little bit too uncontrollable for me where this one, I don't feel like it's gonna give me that uncontrollability. So in the end, I have to make a decision on which ball I'm leaning towards taking to Australia, and I think I'm going to be going with the new offset just because we're bowling on some hookier panels, and I'm just worried that the the one remix might be a little bit too much cover and not to give me that kind of just predictable solid line that I'm looking for in those transition uh, phases. I think it might either hook too early and miss the head pin left, or just kind of bail down lane. So I just want a ball that. Um, like this, like you saw here, I can keep online and just keep in front of me um, for those transition games. Thanks for watching and don't forget to answer the question down below, which one of the JR Pro Shops members is your favorite to watch do ball reviews? Let us know. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next ball review.